Welcome to Decoding for Kids. In this, we are going to play a new game, AI for Oceans. AI is Artificial Intelligence. So let's play step 1 to 4 in this video. Okay guys, at first open a new Chrome browser and type Hover of Code. Here click the first link. In this page, change the languages to English. Here in for students, click explore activities. In search box, give AI. These are the games based on AI. Here I'm going to play the game AI for oceans. And give start. Try now. Yeah, this is step one in this AI for oceans. In this, they have given a video clipping about how AI works and what is machine learning. Sure. So, here I will be telling you some of the key points related to this video. You can watch the complete video. Here they have used a type of AI which is machine learning. Okay. Okay, machine learning is nothing but how computers recognize patterns and make decisions without being explicitly programmed. Yeah, machine learning is instead of programming a computer step by step, you can program a computer to learn like human using trial and error method. Here experience means lots of data. Here, machine learning can also take in lot of data like data images, video, audio or text. Okay, this is machine learning. So, you can watch the complete video. Now, I am going to the next step. Click continue. Yeah, this is step 2. If you see here, they have given that in ocean there are lots of garbages dumped in. So in this step, you are, you are going to program or train AI to identify whether it is a fish or a trash. Okay. So click on the screen. Let's meet AI. Here AI does not know if an object is a fish or a trash, but it can process images and identify patterns. So you are going to train the AI to identify whether it is a fish or a not fish. So let's start. So you are going to identify whether it is a fish or a trash. So this image is a fish, this is also a fish, this is a purple fish, this is a pink fish, this is not a fish, a fork, this is just a social message. So read this and give continue. So you are, pro so you are programming or training AI. So this is a green fish, this is orange fish. This is not a fish, a can, this is a fish, this is a fish, this is not a fish, this is a sock, so not a fish, this is a fish, this is also a fish, this is not a fish, just a social mes message, read it and give continue. So AI will learn from your choices, if you make wrong choice, it will repeat your mistake. So keep training. This is not a fish. This is a fish. This is not a fish. This is a purple fish. This is not a fish. It's not a fish. It's a yellow fish. This is also a fish. So this is a fish. This is an apple. So not a fish. This is also a green fish. So I have see if you see the count I have given more than 25 data. So click continue. 
so now let's see whether ai knows whether it is a fish or a trash so now ai will analyze the random set of objects so let's go click run so if you see ai is identifying the objects as fish or it's an odd fish so click continue So if you see here, based on your training, A has identified all this as fish. But if you see, there are objects other than fish also. So this means that the data I have given is not enough for A to identify whether it is a fish or a trash. So the more data you give, the result will be more accurate. So click continue. Here also click continue. Here also click continue. So, so far we have trained AI to identify whether it is a fish or not fish. What if this training data was used to decide what belonged in the water? What would happen to other sea creatures? Does our training approach cause unintended consequences? So we have trained the AA whether it is fish or not fish. But what will happen to the other sea creatures with, which are in the ocean? Let's see. So if you see here, this is also a sea creature, but it is not identifying it as sea creature. So click continue. While these sea creatures are not fish, they do belong in the water. AI only learns what we teach. Let's train AI again. So in this step 4, you are going to teach AI to learn objects which are should be in the water. So yes, this is a fish. So it will be in the water. This is not a fish. This is not a fish. This is a fish. This is not a fish. This is a social message. Just skip it. So the more data you provide, the AI will learn more. So keep training. And this is not a fish. This is a beer, not a fish. Yeah, this is a fish. This is also a fish. This is also a fish. This is not a fish. This is not a fish. This is a fish. This is a fish. It's a fish. It's a social message. Just read or skip it. Keep training to teach AI what belongs in the water. This is an apple, not a fish. This is a fish. This, this creature belongs to water. So yes, this is a fish. This is a dolphin. This is a fish. This is not a fish. This is a fish. It's a fish. It's not a fish. <coughs> it's not a fish. It's also not a fish. A deer. It's a fish. It's something creature that belongs to water. So yes, this is not a fish. So I have given more data. About 30 data I have given. So click continue. So do you think AI will do a better job by identifying what is in water? Let's see. See if you see here, it is identifying the creatures which are in the water and not in water. So click continue. So 
so based on the training here are some objects that ai has identified that belongs to the water so there are some data like this broken bulb which are not in the ocean so you have to provide more data so there so that your result will be more accurate so click continue so these are the objects that a has not identified so click continue yeah okay guys i have completed step 1 to 4 to continue the game keep watch keep watching my upcoming videos